Welcome back, everyone. My name's Faux Show Shot. Uh, today we're gonna be checking out Classified Stories, uh, Color Out of Space. I actually played this a long time. Not this. I played uh, the Tome of Mirka a long time ago and really enjoyed it. So uh, if you want to check that out after this video, you can go do that. Uh, but let's jump into this. This one's free, uh, and the other one was you actually had to pay for it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, present day, redacted town, redacted state. Several children have begun to disappear from this small town in recent weeks. Daniel M. Moore is getting ready to close the local bar in Redacted when Bobby, a local boy, hurries in. The child starts telling him about his father behaving strangely and being afraid of him. Thinking about past events, Daniel calms the boy down and asks him to wait at the bar and goes to his father's house. All right. I really, they're mainly, it's mainly a puzzle game, uh, but I really liked uh, the last game. And the story. Weird. Took a flashlight. Token. Oh, that's cool. Uh, just a, a flower with an egg in it. Ooh. Alright, so I'm going to need more tokens. Just one more? Yeah, just one more. That'll cause those weird plants to grow for some reason. Gotta tell you, this is the best flashlight I've had in any game, I think. Oh, that's cool. It gives you a, like, old TV filter over the game by doing that. It's pretty cool. Oh, what do we got? Last night, a darn meteor crashed in my backyard. The sound of the space rock hitting the wheelbarrow in the backyard was so loud that it made me jump out of bed and reach for my rifle. I took the gun with me, put on some pants, checked on my son Bobby, and went to see what was happening on my property. And I found the strange meteor that shined so bright, you'd think it was an early morning. I sat there nestled in metal brambles that were once my wheelbarrow, and it pulsed with its bright, pretty colors. I knew I couldn't let this little treasure from the sky fall into the hands of some kid, so I immediately went back to get a shovel, some rope, and a barrel to put it in. Thought I could sell the space disco ball to some rich man in the city, or at least fetch a good price from an old, an odd fellow like Simmons. Who's Simmons? Simmons from the first game, and I just don't know. I heard something. This game is very quiet. Oh, I got another token. My voice cracked right there. Ignore that. Ooh, lights up outside, too. Not bad. I didn't get much sleep these past few nights. I can't seem to get rid of the darn meteor that fell on my property two weeks ago. Nobody will buy it. I thought the stuff might fetch me a good price, but it only, me, only made me pay a lot of visits and a lot of money to the doctor. For what she said was a severe case of anemia. She doesn't believe me when I tell her that I eat like a buffalo, and she always gives me that look, as if she suspects that I am somehow starving myself like some pretty girl in the city. Okay, so... I thought this was a guy the whole time. It's not. 
Uh, or maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, the fact that the meteor gave me a ga a gash in the palm that doesn't want to fully heal doesn't help my case either. And now I have to send Bobby into the city every week to get me meds and more food because I've been so hungry lately. Almost insatiable. Huh. Okay, so the meteor's causing them to, uh, not be able to eat or anything? So I need a key for that. Right now, I guess they're not getting any nutrients or anything. Is that axe always there? I don't remember seeing that. Ooh. Axe is, uh, two. What the hell is this? Oh, he killed himself. So it was a guy. I knew it. Damn, why would you do that? I don't know, but I want the gun. Wow. Wow. Uh, seriously though, kinda want the gun. Lord forgive me, O sweet Mary, Mother of Christ, have mercy on me. For I did not willing take the lives of these children. I have been taken by, oh, so he's been murdering people. I have been taken by a demon, and it dragged my body down that road. And put me on the path of those two girls. And took my hands from within and made me drag those two all the way back here. I locked them in the bathroom upstairs. And I fear what would come of them if I ever attempt to open that door once more. I've been trying to feed them through a kerf I made in the bottom of the door. But I fear that my hunger would drive me through that very opening. My mind and body have been wrestling with the influence of a foul demon that wants me to harm. Okay, so he didn't actually harm them. I mean, maybe he did. Uh, but he did kidnap them. And he kind of wants to eat them. Because he's becoming an alien dude. What is that from? Oh, there's a chair blocking it. Uh, didn't I have a keys for... Yeah, there's something up here. Happiest day of my life, April 13th, 2009. really can't make my way through that. Okay. Uh, April 13th, 2009 was what he said. Did I even check this room? Would that be the basement?
I don't know. Uh, what was I can't remember. Was it April 9th? 2009. April. Just 2009 was the number. Okay, that's that's. Oh no. I was not expecting that. Oh, we did kill him. Wait, there was three? Oh, did he even kill him or did they get killed by the by the meteor? I woke up today out of a terrifying slumber, only to see my hands sunk all the way into those pretty dresses of the girls, into the very guts of those poor Jesus. I can't remember what happened, but I believe that I know what I have done. I'm frightfully certain of it. I pray, O oh Lord, that nobody will find out what I have done to these poor souls, that you will give me the strength to battle with this demon inside me. This constant hunger has driven me to murder and has turned my body into one of a monster. I will take two axes. I now have axe one and axe two. I want to kind of want to see what's in this room. I don't know why I would use that. But okay. Damn, you're ugly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got shotgun shells, but I do not have a shotgun. Which is a bit concerning here. Because am I supposed to have a shotgun? Make sure I wasn't supposed to grab that from anywhere. God, that's horrible. Was that, did that always say you could force it down with a few hits? Oh god, he's here. Oh, I can't hit him with this. I need actual shotgun. Oh! Are you kidding me? Is the shotgun downstairs? Oh, it is. Four. Oh, 
Okay, well. Yeah! I'm out. Yeah! I'm dead. Yeah! Oh my god, I went back to the main menu. Oh. That's really annoying. It, um, it brought that menu up when I died. And so I was still clicking, trying to get my axe out. And it just auto-switched. Alright, I guess I'm redoing this all. to actually kill him. Oh, it's every time you kill one of those things. Okay, so I think it's just kill all of those things, like those two things, and then I should be able to exit out into the yard. I think is what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what... Oh, they got me. Yeah, okay. I can go out here. Daniel touches the stone and immediately begins to feel its power. At first a small burn on the skin, then an itch. He would like to leave that place, but his legs are getting heavier. The foreign form of life begins to take over, and starting from the bottom, it doesn't take long and his eyes blur. He feels tired and hungry. Huh. Okay. All right, that was uh, Classified Stories, Color Out of Space. It was not bad. You could definitely tell it was like a free version of... Um, their games the tome of uh mirka was i feel like a lot more in depth um and you could tell there was a lot more stuff that they added to it this kind of seemed more like a lot of it was like i recognized everything in the house i recognized all of uh the sounds and stuff and you could tell that they were like free assets and things um but other than that, I mean, it was cool. It was a small, good, short story. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. If you want to play it for yourself or the Tomo Murka, you can check those out in the description below. Um, if you want to watch my playthrough of the Tomo Murka, you can do that. That'll be at the end uh, screen. All right, well, that's all the time I have today for this one. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Yeah.